What's up, everyone? Jacob Roach back here from the Killing Joke Studios and Mixing with Metal, and I have the final, for now at least, installment into my Melodyne Masterclass series thing. Um, if I may do more videos in the future on it, but for the time being, this is the third video in the series, and this covers the three things that I use Melodyne for the most. And so, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be covering today. We're going to be talking about tuning bass with Melodyne. So I'm going to play these bass uh, this bass track is just a bass DI and these guitars and just here it's it's all in tune it's all good Again, just a bass DI, so not a whole lot of exciting stuff and that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see it's committed though. And so let me show you the non-committed version. So let me load that up really quick, just making it active. Um, this bass was had a little bit of an intonation issue, and it's not a big deal. Uh, it is it is a deal for sure because um, bass needs to very much be 100% in tune. And even when the bass is set up properly, it's hard to get every single one of the notes perfectly in tune. So I make common practice of using Melodyne on bass just in general when I'm tracking bass DIs and not programming. Generally, I'll opt to program before uh, I will track it uh, just to get that consistent low end on metal music at least. So we can see here's our bass DI. <laughs> So it's the same thing as here. So same deal, okay? And um, let me load up Melodyne here. Okay, and we can see here that we've loaded all of our, our tracks into Melodyne and we're, we're using it. So uh, this is the section that we're going to be editing. And uh, let me just go ahead and just remove this. Uh, let me see, it ends at bar 118. So let me zoom in on Melodyne and I'm just gonna delete everything to bar 118 and we're going to rescan it in. Great. Cool, let's delete all that. Perfect, so we're just gonna scan all of this stuff back in. Once again, we're gonna go up to transfer and play it. Perfect. So we've now played all of that into there. And so Melodyne has detected everything. So we're going to select all of this. Okay. And if we play this untuned in the context of the, the guitars, you're going to see the difference. So this is untuned. So you can definitely hear that the the bass is going out of tune at different points in the saw and different points in that that little fill area. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our things, go up to our pitch tool and double click. Okay? And that should snap everything pretty close. Again, this is not fixing out of tune bass tracks necessarily. This is fixi fixing basses that are set up improperly and maybe have intonation issues. You should still be within, you know, a few cents of the actual pitch. It should not be a completely different tuning. So don't try and do that with bass because you're going to get all sorts of weird artifacts, especially in the low end. This is for stuff that is already pretty close and it's just tightening it up a little bit more. So let's listen to the difference. Perfect. Perfectly in tune. Sounds great. Another example uh, over here, I just want to show you this. Uh, this is the tuned version now.
Great. So let me show you how much Melodyne's doing. Let me bypass it and now play it. Bring it back in. Massive, massive difference, and it tightens it up a lot. And so I just make common practice of doing this on bass guitars. And the only reason I do that is just because in metal music, you're going to need a consistent low end. Okay. You're going to need a, a fundamental center for everything to kind of attract to pitch wise. Okay. And that's really what bass is going to function as guitars, heavy to store guitars in a sense are kind of just noise, you know, and yes, they do make notes and they make pitch and that, that's true, but your bass is doing a lot for the, you know, yes, rhythmically, but in metal, it's doing a lot for the melody as well uh, because you are, you're following uh, a certain pitch center on the bass that, uh, you know, the listener could kind of attract to. So having a very consistent low end, uh, it could be really important for just making sure your track sounds more cohesive. So I make common practice of tuning bass with Melodyne no matter what, uh, even if there isn't a ton of issues, just to make sure uh, certain things. Plus, not to mention, you have you know, basses where you hit the string and it's immediately goes sharp. Uh, and if you tune it and then it settles and then it's all sorts of problems. So this helps a lot tightening it up. Do everything you can though. Let, let it be known that you should do everything you possibly can in tracking to ensure that the bass is a hundred percent in tune. This is not a fix it type of solution. This is more of let's take it to the next level type of solution. Okay. So I'm not looking at Melodyne's, Oh, I need to fix this bass track. Of course, it is fixing the bass track, and I do need to fix the bass track, but I'm looking at it as more of, oh, I'm making sure it's 100% in pitch, but it's pretty much there already. That's that's the goal of it. So um, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Once again, we have the two other videos on Melodyne about uh, basic vocal tuning and then generating harmonies with Melodyne, so make sure you check those out. I also have all my quick tips up and everything like that. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos uh, or any comments about how you use Melodyne or if this has been helpful to you, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear what's going on. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time.